Hello everybody, this is meteorologist Andrew Pinero with this next weather update, special weather update in the middle of this snowstorm. So let me step off camera here and what we're going to be seeing here is quite a bit of some white stuff on the ground. Yes, that's snow. This is the first snow of the season. And this is where we're going to be seeing a little bit of an interesting system and this was one that was a little bit difficult to forecast for as well. So it started out this morning as a little bit of rain, a little bit of sleety mix going on and then it switched over to snow and it was coming down pretty heavy. I'm going to put up a little picture right here of what it looked like before. It was pretty heavy snowflakes, thick snowflakes too. So that's where we saw all of this snow come from that's on the ground right now. This snow is going to be sticking with us throughout the day today, but once we get, say, past, say, 5 p.m., that's where we're going to be seeing the changeover happen again from this, it's sleeting right now, from snow to sleet to pretty much all rain after sunset. Usually you would think the sunset causes temperatures to drop, but not this time. We're going to be seeing the sun rising, or the, the temperatures rising after sunset. And that's what's going to cause this changeover from snow, sleet, to all rain. Much more north, getting near the capital district in Albany, it's not going to happen. Even getting as far south as, say, like Sullivan County, we're not going to see this changeover. It's going to stay all snow, and that's why the snow totals are much higher for that area, kind of like Sullivan, Ulster, and north. What we're going to be seeing for the New York City area, Hudson Valley areas, maybe like, well, specifically like Hudson Valley first. One to three inches of snow through the day. Then it's going to change over to a little bit of rain. Most of this may actually end up being washed away. After that, tomorrow morning, it's going to start as rain, but say between 7 and 10 a.m. It's going to start to change over again from rain to sleet. And then everywhere, it's going to snow throughout the northeast tomorrow as we get some cold air, this wraparound snow effect with northerly winds coming out of, the, out of Canada. So we're going to be seeing the storm end in snow tomorrow. So Hudson Valley area, maybe north of New York City, we're going to be seeing split now, maybe one to three inches or two to four inches today. Then the rain, maybe it'll be washed away a little bit. Then another, say, two to four inches tomorrow. So total for this storm could be maybe around four to eight inches. However, it's not going to be like we're going to be seeing four to eight inches of snow on the ground. It's going to come in two, those two different bouts, two to four, then get washed away from most areas around New York City. And then it's going to be another two to four. Once you get to those northern counties, especially near Albany, it's not going to have a changeover. So what we're going to be seeing is actually all snow and some of these snow totals that the forecast models are putting out are getting up near two feet of snow. So it is very possible for Albany County to see about two feet of snow out of this, which is incredible to have such a stark difference between maybe two to four inches here and then two feet of snow a little bit more north. And like right now, I, this is turning into all sleet, so I feel this iciness that's under my feet now. And temperature-wise, we're not seeing the temperature go up too much over into the nighttime hours. Maybe it'll reach into the upper 30s to the low 40s, and then it's going to start dropping off again throughout late into the night to early tomorrow morning. And again, this is going to end as all snow. Now, the National Weather Service has put out a lot of winter storm warnings from, it's in effect right now, until Tuesday morning. There are some winter weather advisories once you get more south where it's going to be mostly rain, but a lot of winter storm warnings, not really anything in terms of blizzard because we're not dealing with the strong winds until after the storm moves through. So going into Tuesday, we could be seeing some pretty breezy conditions as well. So that pretty much wraps up this quick little weather update. So again, we're going to be seeing about two to four inches for today. Then it's going to wash away. 
most of it, not all of it. And then we're going to see maybe another two to four inches by the end of the day tomorrow. So cumulatively, we could be seeing about four to eight inches out of this system for around the New York City area. More north, without the changeover, it's going to be maybe a foot to two feet of snow, which is, it is possible. All right, so it's cold out, it's getting slippery out, so I'm gonna start heading inside. Thank you all for joining me in this weather update. It is really interesting looking outside. I do like seeing the first snow. But, oh, one last thing, travels. Traveling, definitely check with your airline if you're traveling. I am flying out soon, and I will be looking at the airlines to see what's going on, cancellations, so please check with that, or any car services that you're using. Check with those before you head out. All right, so this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. Thank you for joining me today. Please stay safe today through Tuesday for this, and I will see you all in the next video.